Hi everyone, in this video we will be doing a 3D animated character in under 15 minutes. Using Spline we will work on a browser and I will put the final project link in the description so you can always go check it yourself in case you wonder. Also notice that this is a part of our Spline course where you can find lots of tutorials like this. If you want to enroll the full course, the link is in the description again. Here we are on the startup screen. And as always, I will start with deleting this rectangle. Hide helpers and turn off grid planes. Then I will create a new cube by holding shift option and reset its all properties. Now that it is centered, we can click smooth and edit button to start modeling. I will set the subdivision level to 3. With Lupa tool, add a new subdivision and move it a little bit higher. Add the second one and this time drag it all the way button. That's because we want a sharp edge at the button. I will resize it and check the appearance from all perspectives. Increase the subdivision level so that we have smooth transitions. Maybe resize again, just to be sure that it looks like a ghost silhouette. Select the object. Now we can click Edit Mesh button here. Increase Base Subdivision. And now we can select these four bottom faces. Hold Shift while selecting the other one. And move all of them up like this. We can increase the level again to check how it looks like. Let's make it zero and click on increase base subdivision because we need more corners to create the fluctuation parts of the ghost. And these many subdivisions should be enough. So I will switch to the vertex mode from toolbar at top. By the way, double clicking on the object will switch to the editing mode. Select these three corners and we will move them up like this. Also select three dots from here. I will do the same thing for all around the ghost. We are just leaving small gaps. To get smooth transitions, increase the level all the way up to 5. And it looks like a ghost already. Maybe we can fix these corners. Maybe a bit higher. Alright, we are done with the body of the ghost. Now I will reset the camera and start making the eyes. I will just select ellipse from toolbar and click on the surface of the ghost. So the circle will be spawned here. Change its lighting to funk so that we can see. Also change the color to black. Let's make it thicker by increasing the extrusion value. We can see the difference better from this perspective. And I want smaller eyes. Let's give 84x and 84y. I can now duplicate this one for the left eye as well. It's time to rotate these circles and stick them to the body. I'm not doing much here actually, just resizing the eyes and repositioning until it looks like natural. Well, finally, I decided on 70 for width and height values. Duplicate the circle for mouth again. Put it here, also narrow it somewhat. And again, let me adjust the position for the mouth. Next step is to create the little circles inside of the eye. Duplicate this one and change its color to white. Let me bring it to the front and I will make it smaller. Twenty twenty will work for this one and put it right there. Do the same thing for the rest.
Finally, you should also position them on the Z direction so that they are not outside of the eye. Once you are ready with the left eye, we can duplicate it and reposition for the right eye. I will just delete this circle for now. Group all of the circles we created for the left one and I will call it left eye. Not the mouth, so take it out. Duplicate this group. This time rename it right eye and adjust the position. It's time to create the eyebrows. Click on the rectangle from the toolbar and click on the surface just above the eye. Change the lighting to fun and color to black. Also resize and rotate the rectangle. Let's look at it from this side. I'm going to increase the extrusion level to 6 and make the necessary adjustments like the previous parts of the ghost. After positioning the left eyebrow, duplicate it and do the same adjusting for the right one. Once you are happy with the result, let's group all of them together. Lock and also hide this group so we can focus on the arms, which we are going to create for the next step. Create a new cube by holding Shift and Option, Reset Properties, and by the way I am doing the same steps every time because in that way we don't have any scaling issues. So selecting the cube from the right menu increase the subdivision level, make it longer and narrower as well. Now we will try to bend this object and give it a slight slope maybe. Click Edit Mesh and add a new subdivision right at the center. Switch to the vertex mode so that we can select these corners like this. And let's pull them a little left. It is really easy to bend objects in spline. Make it narrower again on this side as well. Now double click on the object to go back to edit mode. Maybe we can pull from there a little bit more. Alright, that's it, we created the arm. Rotate it 90 degrees so it looks like horizontal. Now that the arm is ready, go and make our ghost visible again and we can place the arm. Maybe this should be smaller. Let me adjust the rotation and position as well. Just be sure that the arm is stick to the body. We don't want some flying effect. Duplicate the left arm and do the same thing for the other one. Finally, I will add a new material, which is normal. I believe it looks really good with this little ghost here. That's why we don't worry about any material or color. Let's also apply it to the arms. You can also copy the material and paste it to another object. I'm just doing final checks and fixing some rotation and position of the arms. We can make it more realistic by adding a shadow to the project. To do that I will create a new rectangle. I want to do it from top angle because this will be the ground object. And just move it here. It is a 2D object now, so it has no lighting material. But if we change this to Fong, we can see the shadow from the directional light.
change the color of the ground and you will now understand why we did the ground using a 2D object instead of cube. It's because when you make the background color same with the rectangle, the rectangle will become invisible. And I really like this view. But remember, if you change the color again, you should also change the color of the background. Great, we are also done with the scene. I will rename this rectangle as ground and lock it because we will never gonna make changes on it. Also rename the left arm and the right arm. And move them into the group because they are also some parts of the ghost. Also notice that you cannot change the position of directional light anymore, since the ground will be affected. After finishing all the modeling stuff, it's time for the animation part. Selecting the group, I will just add a new event and I will select look at from the drop down menu. It is that easy to create a mouse follower animation in Spline and you can put this project into your website directly and it will follow your mouse in there in your website as well. Okay, this was too easy. Let's add more animations. This time I will make something about the eyebrows. Maybe they can be angry sometimes. To do that, select the left eyebrow first and add a new state. In the second state we just created, change the position in a way that looks angry. You can also change the rotation. Also add event to trigger this state animation. Select start as the type of, so the animation will play when it starts. I want to enable cycle and repeat because it will look nice if this little guy change its emotion continuously. And let's also enable delay in the repeating process. Finally, I will set duration 1 second and delay 2. Once you are done with the left eyebrow, do the same steps for the right eyebrow. Hit play to see the result. Wait a second. Here it is. This is the repeating animation and it is independent of our actions. But I don't really like the transition effect, so let's try Spring instead. Also change it for the left eyebrow, Spring, and give it a try. Way better. Alright guys, that's it for this project. I hope you enjoyed during this tutorial and see you in the next one.